Hmm. All right. Let's see now. Uh, all right. Hello. Oh, hi, Sam. I am Airshow, and tonight we're playing some more Bloodborne, and uh, we are not, for once, playing as Finnegan Smythe. We are Nigel Chesterton, uh, who is a strength build character. I'm using the axe to start off. I'll probably end up switching to the, uh, what's it called, the Kirk Hammer at some point, but for now the axe is doing its job quite nicely. And my goals for this character is to get the knight set for him as quickly as possible. Um, it turns out that's more complicated than I thought, because I thought, you know, just kill Gascoigne, kill Amelia, uh, go get the Kanehurst summons, and go get the knight armor. Well, it turns out it's not that simple. I found out that you have to at least kill the blood-starved beast or the cleric beast in order to get to Amelia. You can't just ignore them both. Hey, I missed that the first time. Anyway, uh, where was I? So anyway, yeah, the, uh, okay, my cat's climbing on the shelf. I have to, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so I, like, tried to open the gate to Amelia and uh, was like, oh, I'm going to go buy the uh, emblem for 10,000 souls and get that. And then I discovered, oh, it's not there. And I looked it up and it turns out you have to kill the cleric beast in order to make the emblem viable. So... Yeah, you have to kill the Cleric Beast or the Bloodstarved Beast in order to reach Amelia. And Cleric Beast certainly was the faster way to go. So, but now my souls are on the ground by Amelia, so I might as well try her a few more times before going after the Witch of Hemlock. Because she has to die too in order to get the Kanehurst, so anyway... My weapon is not as beefy as I'm used to when I fight Amelia, so this is a tougher fight. good shit that Finnegan Smythe usually has by the time he faces her, because I, you know, I obsessively kill all the optional bosses before even bothering with Amelia. So usually I've got a crazy jacked up weapon and a bunch of fire paper and all that stuff, so old Nigel here isn't quite as tough, but there is an... Did I even remember to pick up my souls for that? Because if I didn't, then there's no point in trying to fight her again. Well, I guess I'm going to have to check one more time to be sure. so busy talking about shit, I don't remember if I actually paid attention enough to pick up my souls. Like, I could summon Henriette, but that didn't help me the first time, so I'm not sure, like, you know, making the boss tougher is going to work out for me here. I think, uh, let's see if I can fight her on my own, and if not, I'll go to the Witch of Hemlick. I'll, get, I'll probably get some twin blunt some twin shards there, be able to level up my axe again and be in better shape to fight her in the future. Alright. Where is, oh, she's right on top of my souls. That's no good. Can I get those two? Thank you. Oh, I did it. I did pick them up. Alright. Anyway, where were we? Let's fight this chick. Oh. Not 
I need, to, I need to not like not get greedy basically. When you got like a plus six weapon and fire paper, you can get greedy. That's not gonna work now. Oh wow, okay. damage actually. I'm just going to go ahead and burn them all. Ooh, I shouldn't have stood there. one thing I can do. I can start ringing my beckoning bell. Could be that a player will show up and help me beat this chick. And then I'll, you know, have one more thing knocked off my checkpoint and I won't have to give up those 5,000 souls. 5,000 5, souls? That's not... It's not a lot. But it's enough to level once, which means I should at least put in the effort of getting them back. But anyway... wearing Gascoigne's outfit for this one, because I've never really worn it before. It doesn't really fit Finnegan Smythe's style, but... And it's not really Nigel Chesterton's style either, but it's something interesting that, you know, isn't just the one of the starter outfits. I sold most of the other armor I picked up so I could have enough souls to buy that uh, emblem, because... Nigel doesn't really need to be the same kind of completionist Finnegan is. He's not my main, so... Anyway, well, nobody showed up in the time it took me to get here. I could fight all the enemies along the way, but that's just more souls to risk. Here we go. Hey, no fair, I rolled. Oh man, this is gonna get bad. Well, maybe switch to my pistol. See if I can't get a couple viscerals in there. Or not. I could just get smashed to death. That might happen too. Not a good day for Nigel Chesterton so far. Well. I'm gonna ring my beckoning bell, start fighting the enemies on my way up to give other players more time to show up into the same boss hundreds of times so and you know there's no reason I can't just come back to Amelia later when I'm tougher sheesh see, it took me four hits to kill that guy see I'm not particularly tough. oh already oh man fuck you stupid crawl We don't tolerate any crows around here! Hey. Seriously, what is with all these magic pixels? <laughs> wow. No blood pitch on this guy, so my, my weapon shots are pretty weak. Pretty much visceral is the only thing my gun is good for, and I'm gonna... You, know, you noticed I had the flame sprayer at first. I started with the cruel fate uh, starter stats, so it might be uh, worth it to build up that arcane stat a bit and try the flame sprayer as a offhand weapon. You know, move away from guns for a bit. Since Finnegan Smythe is so very, very down with the guns. 
you gonna come attack me or not? I don't wanna fight you guys on the stairs. Oh, look at this shit. Yeah, bad move, buddy. Wow. Okay, that was risky. End up with a massive pot of souls sitting on the floor in Amelia's boss room every time I go in there at this rate. Everything I'm doing is a bad decision right now. What I should do is just cut my losses. Go. Oh, they do still afflict, uh... Uh-oh. There's the other one. Alright, where was I? Um, yeah, 3,000 souls to be added to the 5,000 souls. That's going to be 8,000 souls on the ground, and it's becoming less and less like something I can just leave behind and go fight the Witch of Hemwick. So, bad decisions all around. I suppose I should just, uh, I could sit on my ass and wait for somebody to show up, but that wouldn't make for very interesting streaming now, would it? So I guess it's time to go die to Amelia again. Let's see here, I don't have any fire paper. I wonder if the poison knives will affect her. No reason not to try, I guess. Anyway. Bad start. All right. Well, well, I lost my five thousand souls, so didn't even bother trying to pick them up. Completely forgot about that. All right. Screw it. Then we're moving on. gonna ring that beckoning bell. If somebody shows up before I leave the area, screw it, I'll give it another go. Because I'm so very... Oh, hey, look at that. Might have a chance now. summoned queen. How about that? Hey, check it out. Dressed almost just like Henriette. Looks like we're fighting Amelia again after all. Oh, did I forget to kill that guy? See why they call the axe spin to win, though. Oh, we got another player showing up. Suddenly I'm hot. All right. Hey, I think this is going to happen. It's one of the great things about these games. They're cool, and it's kind of awesome. Boobles McDoodle, okay. <laughs> Welcome to the fight, Boobles McDoodle. He 
he's wearing the old hunter armor. Wow. Hopefully that's a good sign. And has the uh, Blade of Mercy. That's probably a very good sign. Alright. Let's go kill Amelia, guys. Look at that. I got 5,000 souls here. I can get the 3,000 from the floor. Well, you know. Sort of balances out. Uh-oh. I'm probably going to lose my broadcast. So if I vanish suddenly, sorry, guys. It almost doesn't seem fair. All right, thanks very much, everyone. Let's light this lamp. And we'll go examine the skull. Am I still broadcasting? Yeah, I guess I am. All right. Hey, here we go. You know what? I've seen this before, and you can see it too elsewhere, so we're skipping it. I know. Nigel Chesterton doesn't get the story treatment. Even Finnegan Smythe was skipping storylines last time we played him, so... That's the way the cookie crumbles. My god, she gave a lot of souls. That's what happens when you beat her as the second boss, I get third boss, I mean. Okay, now we could beef the ever-loving Christ out of our strength, which would be fun. Probably make me really tough right away. Could also just give myself a shitload of hit points. I like to put all the points into one stat when I've got enough souls for multiple, multiple, m multiple stat boosts. Man, why am I not talk good? Um, let's see. Strength gives me like 10 points of damage, but yeah, I've never been like high on vitality early in the game, so it might be fun to do that for once. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, beef my vitality way up. Cause like I started beefing Finnegan Smythe's vitality near the end of that last playthrough, but like I definitely dealt with some grief for it. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, yeah. I can go to the DLC if I want right now. I will not, but it is an option because I... Hey, what's up, Gearman? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I already did ascend it. Yeah, there. Anyway. Um, right. Okay, I don't have anything that I can upgrade with right now. So let's do some repairs. Buy some more bullets and vials, and we're on our way to... Hmm. I gotta set foot in the Forbidden Woods in order for patches to appear, and... Wait, that's not what I need. I need to go into the Forbidden Woods so I can get to Yosefka's clinic. That's what I need to do. Um, anyway. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, we threw a lot of bullets doing that, so, yeah. 
Yeah, using the flame sprayer is clearly not as utilitarian as a as a gun, as a firearm. I mean, I guess if, you know, if I actually like used short bursts, it might be all right. But that that shit'll burn right through your entire bullet supply in a single boss fight. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's see here. We could do the Witch of Hemwick first. Have uh, you know, have access to uh, rooms. But, uh, I think I'll hit the uh, forest first. Get that Kanehurst summons. That way I can just go hop on the ride as soon as I kill the witch. Uh, anyway, so the best place to depart from would be... Here. Yeah. Oh, you know what I think I didn't do? Uh, talk to, uh, talk to Eileen and fight Henrik. I wonder if I can still do that even. I'm not sure if you have to do that before you fight Amelia or not. Oh, we can go find out real fast. Hey, she's here. I'm not going to bother with that right now, but I will make note of it for the future. Actually, I'm not sure if it would have been faster to go this way or to just go down the, uh, down from the chapel. I guess this way I don't have to run past as many threats. The giants are asleep over here now and shit. Hey, it's Rom. All right, time to fight the brain sucker. actually fought a brain sucker without losing any insight. That's a miracle. You just witnessed a miracle, folks. Hey look, two twin bloat two shards. <laughs> Good. I can use those. I mean I need a third one, but that's like already a good chunk of the way there. Hey Alfred, what it is? Just Tell me about the vile bloods. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. That was nice of you to tell me that stuff. Anyway, I'm moving on. I'm kind of like doing the quests as I go along, just in case for some reason I think Nigel Chesterton needs something from one of them. But you know, again, I've as long as it's on the way. Blah blah. As long as it's on the way to getting the night armor. In any case. I already have the Kirk Hammer. I think I do. Might as well put it in my other weapon slot, even though that's probably way crappier than... Oh, it actually already does almost as much damage as the axe, so... There we have it. Oh, let's see. Was there anything else I needed around here? I don't think so. Now it's just a matter of exploring for shards and getting to Yusefka's clinic as quickly as possible. Which I'm sure like some speedrunner would be able to just blaze through here in like a minute and a half and get there and that's not me. I just, I have a plan in my head and I'm kind of haphazardly figuring it out as I go. I was caught off guard by the fact that I had to kill the cleric beast earlier for example. Hey, look at that. We're going to be beefing up the axe in a moment. Or maybe the, uh, Kirk Hammer instead? I don't know. The... Okay, okay. 
Rough start. Okay. I don't like that guy throwing his shitballs at me, so we're gonna go kill him. Okay, everything here is tough. It's almost like I rushed in here a lot earlier than I usually do. Wow. Man, okay. All right, that was a truly embarrassing display for me, but I got through it at least. Damn. All right. Probably should go get that uh that bun that lamp. <laughs> I almost said bonfire. You know how it goes. Oh boy, one of these guys. Let's pull out the gun for this. Oh, except I don't have the gun equipped. I have the there. There we go. Come on, come on. You want to swing at me again? You know you do. Particularly embarrassing way to bite it. I should have gone for the lamp first. Because now I gotta run all the way back there, which is gonna suck. Alright, again, best way to go. Yeah. They're both just slightly long enough to be annoying, I think. Oh, and the enemies have cleared out here anyway, so it makes it a little bit of an easier run. Killed by a horse on fire. That is... Yeah. Not a not very dignified way for Nigel Chesterton to go out. Yep. Sorry, all the enemies. I'd love to kill you, but I'm ready to move on. Hmm. What is with all the freaking statues in this game? It doesn't make any sense at all for there to be this many statues. I'm wondering if there's like a, if it's like a thing. There's supposed to be some kind of, like, meta reason for all of these freaking statues to be everywhere. Dark Souls 3 was like that as well. I remember there being, like, way too many statues in that game as well. It's like, who is making all these statues, and why are they everywhere? It just makes your city look cluttered. Ah, uh, I just don't understand FromSoft sometimes. Here we go. Alright. Now we can go fight with Reckless Abandon and not have to worry about taking a long trek back to where we left off. Oh, that guy. There we go. Fuck you. That's more like it. Alright, note to self. This time, do not step on the flaming horse. 
Let's uh, get these holes. Whoa! Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Ow! Man. Oh! Well. I thought I was going to get that um, visceral attack in. I was very wrong. It's a bummer when you're like trying to take out a dude and get hit at the same time that you stagger him. Okay, okay. This is not going well this time. Should do is just go level up my axe so I can have a little bit more oomph when I fight these guys. It's just you know, figure I might as well. What is this shit? There we go. All right. Third time's the charm. Let's fight that that stupid armor guy. that too, punk. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like it. I got some new uh, bloodstones too. Some uh, blood gems, I mean. God. All these terminology is running together for me. Alright, now back to the lamp where we're going to do some upgrading. Yes, Sam? What do you want? Come on. Come sit on the couch. It's just me talking to my cat. Uh, let's see now. I'm kind of losing my air show voice here. It's putting a bit of strain on the old throat. Um, here we go. Oh, I, I got a lot of souls from all that, too. Well, you know, kill a bunch of dudes in the forest and die a bunch of times. I guess that'll happen. Yes. What do you want? Uh, excuse me, wake up! Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Strength. Oh man, look at that. Only one level this time. That's how things go. You know what? Much as the Kirk Hammer is probably better for my stat setup right now, the Hunter Axe has been a lot of fun, so I'm gonna keep using that and keep upgrading it until the Kirk Hammer just so wildly outclasses it that I'd, I'd be stupid not to switch. But for now, the Hunter Axe is still my top damage dealer, so I can stick with it. Nothing to repair, that's weird. Hunter X, like, doesn't need to be repaired as often as other weapons or something, because I usually have to repair Finnegan Smythe's weaponry every time I go out to fight anything. Da, 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 da. Is there anything else I could spend money on besides consumables? I'm trying to think. What do we got here? Oh, da, 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 da. No weapons that I feel like using. Uh... Yeah, no, let's stock up on more bullets, I guess. Alright. Back to the forest. Now, at this point, I could try to, you know... Well, it's like, if I fight my way through things, I'll probably pick up loot along the way and find more twin... 
twin shards and that'll come in super handy for fighting stuff coming up but if I just freaking bull rush the path to Yosefka's clinic I can get that Kanehurst summons a lot faster so well let's see how often I die and we'll start making our choices based on that fucking crows so sick of crows All right. Knock that shit off. Alright, there we go. Bloody crawls. Alright, uh, now let's... Please let me fight the guy with the gun first. Oh, he put his gun away. How polite of him. Okay! That's a bad sign. <laughs> we'll chalk that up to a fluke, but uh couple more of those and we will be going with the mad dash past everything route. So, you know, I, like I said, I usually take my sweet time getting to the Forbidden Forest, so this is relatively new experience for me, trying to get through it as quickly as possible. Not even through it, just through the part that leads to Yosefka's clinic. Oh, jeez, I didn't... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for killing me like an idiot last time. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Hey, more shards. How many do I got? Just the one. <laughs> so, it'll be a while before I can upgrade my axe again. Oh, what do we got over here? The cold blood? That could come in handy. Uh, Alright, that's probably better off fighting this guy up here. Than... Okay. I took a gamble there. Trying to uh, play the uh, rally game, but I, I fucking... It paid off, I guess. So, lucky me. Ooh. All right, excuse me, I need to loot this. Oh, look at that! Three for one! Now we only need one more. That's awesome. All right. I fell for it. And I'm ashamed. Oh, hey, look. Here's the path to exactly where I want to go. Or, oh, wait, hang on. Gotta fight this guy first. Okay. Whew. Hey, look at that. Another upgrade for my axe coming up. I just went backwards, I think. All right, up this way. Let's get whatever this is. Beast blood pellet. Nice. Uh, hmm. All right, where the hell am I going? I have, uh, in fact, completely lost track of which way I'm going. I'm gonna kill this guy and we'll figure it out from there. Oh. Oh, this. This was a bad idea.
I wonder. Not quite what I intended, but it works. Not looking good for you, buddy. All right. Well, you know what? I cleared out a lot more of this place than I thought I was gonna. That's good. Well, that's all the more goodies for me. Anyway, we were going this way and following this path. That's where we wanted to go. Uh, yeah. Let's keep going this way. And there we go. This is this is what I was trying to get at. Hey, if I go talk to that door, I think I'll get the thing from Patches, which again I don't need, but I guess no reason not to. Yep, that's Patches. Hey, give me the thing. Give me the thing. Give me the thing. Thank you for the thing. Bye, Patches. Anyway. These dogs are worth a lot of souls. Alright. Anyway. I remember where this place is only because I had to look it up every time I played the game for a long time. Like, it is amazing how easily I forget the back way into Yosefka's clinic. Maybe I'll give all the people to Yasafka this time. You know, mix things up a bit. God, leeches. Leeches suck. This is me being a gambling man right here. Alright. There's probably more loot to pick up in there, but that's not really the priority right now. And boom, here we are. Earliest I've ever gotten to this place. Only three bosses down. Would have been two. But, uh, I discovered you can't get here with only two bosses down, so. You learn something new every day. Go ahead and make sure we open this gate. Make it much easier to get back here if anything unfortunate should happen to me in the clinic, which it shouldn't. I'm not planning on trying to fight the Yosefka imposters, so there is that, in fact, there is that brain sucker on the way, and I think it's a tough one, so I'm going to go ahead and catch these souls in. Where the hell am I going? Okay, need to go into the front door of the clinic. There we go. Had a 
little ear scratch there. Alright. Time to level. Uh, and I think I can upgrade. Uh, yeah, yeah, I should be able to upgrade. Alright, I killed her. Yeah. Anyway. Like, let's see. More strength? More strength. There we go. Alright. Beef this axe up a bit more. Nice. We're moving along. We're moving along. Let's see. Yeah, I'm like, uh... Trying, in particular, with this character, Nigel uh, Chesterton, to build him to be more or less the opposite of Finnegan Smythe. Just so you know that I'm force myself to try different things. If I'm still going to be playing Bloodborne, I might as well, you know, experiment. Have some fun. Do some new and interesting things with it. I'll buy that hand lantern right now, because, you know, could come in handy later. I got, again, nothing else worth buying, really, though. More bullets. There we go. Alright. Time to go in the back of the clinic. <sighs> Alright. What time is it? 1016? Alright. making nice swift progress I feel I mean I only started Nigel Chesterton like last night so the fact that I'm already up to uh, getting the Kanehurst summons ain't bad uh, that taking that witch of Hemwick down isn't gonna be difficult but it is gonna be a bit of a time sink so I'm sad that'll be slowing me down but okay here we go Yeah, this guy, we're gonna run from this guy, because holy shit, it's, uh, oh, that was the ladder I was supposed to climb, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, nope, nope, we're not fighting you, bro. You are way too much of a pain in the ass. Can't climb ladders, can he? I hope not. Alright. That's why we're not fighting Yusefka either, or, you know, the Yusefka imposter anyway, because uh, uh, I'm pretty sure she's like a hundred times harder than that guy. for going in here. I'll go in here and get threatened by Yusefka. I don't really intend to, f again, fight her. I'm just like, hey. Oh. I had no idea that that was an imposter the first time I got here I think I mean I think I read it or something but like knowing that Yusufka gets him replaced by an imposter is mainly something people have picked up on from the fact that one of the alien creatures in here has Yusufka's blood file and the fact that there's a Yusufka imposter in the credits it's the only other like clear indicator that the nice doctor lady from the beginning of the game gets very quickly attacked and her clinic gets taken over by a crazy woman. This being bloodborne at all, everything goes bad for everyone. 
you know, that's how it is. That's how it is in Souls games usually too, really. Alright, there we go, got the Kainher summons and... And we'll leave her alone for now. Maybe she's happy like that, I don't know. Alright, we're at least gonna... Get to Hemwick Crossing. You know, play a little bit of that before I call it night. I'm not even gonna bother spending my souls. I'm gonna break my rule. I'm just gonna mosey on. Tell you what, the axe makes these guys pretty easy, and I'm grateful for that. So yeah, I guess I can still go do Eileen's quest as long as I don't advance to the Blood Moon, so that's a good thing to know. Before I was like afraid that if I didn't do the Henrik fight before Amelia, I'd screw myself over and not be able to complete uh, her quest line and, you know, I like getting all the stuff. That's how I play games. Alright, this fucking place. <laughs> Whether or not we get far in Hemlock Crossing, I guess, depends on how long this place takes me to get through. These fucking dogs, man. Okay. Clearly I've gotten a little reckless.
pretty sure there's a couple more dudes with some dogs up ahead. Ooh, and this guy. Okay, bad. I whiff jump attacks a lot. It's pretty risky. And I'm pretty stupid for trying to use them as often as I do. But hey, it worked. Alright. Time to kill this jackass. And we're done here. The only time you have to have to, have to ever walk through the path. Unless you die there at least. message actually. Alright, first things first, spend these souls, then we'll ring our beckoning bell and start making our way through Hemwick. Where'd you go? She's over here. Bumping that strength. Alright. Farewell, good of me. You know what I did not do? Upgrade my uh, blood gems. Probably got a bunch of good stuff. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Blunt attack. Are any of. I mean, I guess it has blunt strikes, so yeah, but. Hmm. Not enough of a trade-off, I don't think. Alright. Moving on. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting sleepy. I should probably stop soon. But, uh... Bloodborne is weirdly addictive. Especially considering I've done all this like half a dozen times already. And... Time to fight some witches. That's, that was the wrong one. I went to the wrong place. Hope you guys like loading screens, cause uh, we about to go through another one. And another one. I might switch to the Kirk Hammer once I got that Knight Armor because it'll. I feel like the Kirk Hammer will suit that look better. Like, well, I guess obviously, guess Goings Armor looks good with the uh, axe because, you know. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Definitely. I'm going to say bedtime either next time I die or next time I stop in to uh, spend my souls. Whichever comes first. <laughs> yeah, I'm over here. Alright, anyway.
Why am I even going this way? There's, oh, well, there's that. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Moving on. There's <laughs> reasons like this why my speed run to the night armor is not a very speedy run. not gonna bother you know what I don't have to fight that dog if I don't want to and that's my right oh boy discovered this before. Ha 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 ha! That felt good. Sneak attack waits ahead my ass. Alright. And look at that. Already opened the shortcut. Mother of God, why are there so many crows? if 5,000 souls is enough to level anymore, I'm gonna push it a little further. I'll probably die and lose all my souls as a uh, punishment for this hubris, but here we go. of that lamp coming in useful. There we go. That took me a lot longer to find than it should have. Oh, also, forgot to do this. Hmm. Just so cocky these days, I don't even think about using my beckoning bell. Wait, I heard that.
Back to there, buddy. going much better than that time I got chased around by every single dog in this entire place. Remember this ambush? Yeah, that chick. That would cut your freaking eyes out if you don't let it get the drop on you. Sheesh. Alright, where were we? Alright, was there any other items to pick up here? No. Almost to the shortcut. Bing bada boom. All right. We're just gonna mosey on back and spend all these souls. I am not in a mood to risk them all. I think that's it for tonight. That was Nigel Chesterton on his way to get the night armor. And uh, thank all none of you for watching, and I'll see you later.